Hi Sag, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. I'm here to give you a quick general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you hit that notification bell to be notified for your future readings. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back family. Thank you so much for your love and support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel messages for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please provide the most clear messages and please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold. Anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So I feel like there's definitely no communication with someone. You're not seeing eye to eye with them. Some of you guys could be born on November 22nd. Um, or you may be dealing with someone that's born on the 2nd of February or the 22nd of some month. But I see that there is no communication. And this is a misfortune for someone. They weren't able to see your point of view in regards to a situation. Definitely in regards to compassion, November 26th. So I feel like you guys had to stop communicating with someone. Someone that you may have co-created with. For some of you guys, you could have had a child with this individual. And I feel like you gave them so much nurturing energy December 11th because you've seen potential in the situation. But I feel like you needed to shift your focus. Uh, so some of you guys, yeah, you shift your focus towards the future. And I see you guys are working on something. You are studying. You're working, investing your time and energy into something um, in order to create a legacy. For some of you all, it's music, others, art, or something that you're very passionate about. I feel like for some of you guys, you may work in the health field, the medical field, or you could be a healer of some sort. I feel like this is something that comes naturally to you. Um, and I feel like uh, a lot of people recognize you for your gifts. I'm seeing angel number 444. So some of you guys are seeing fours. Also, I see angel number 222. Two, two. I feel like a lot of you guys have spent time alone um, after dealing with the situation where you felt like you were either being used or abused. I feel like you spent a lot of time alone. 
And I feel like during this alone time, you may have discovered your purpose or you could have found something to, uh, a different way to express yourself, something that you are creating. I feel like um, if you were moving in silence, which I see a lot of you guys were, about something that you were learning, I do see you expressing that now or sharing that gift uh, with the world. And I see you focusing on that because it is a part of your future or you feel like it is a part of your, your, your journey. I see your guardian angels here. And it's like they are shielding you and protecting you and guiding you on this journey. And the beautiful thing about this journey for you is that it is so divinely guided and it is so you, um, Sagittarius. This is you. You're in your energy right now. Yeah, you got this Sagittarius energy. You're in your energy right now. Some of you guys are older feminine energies and you could be dating a younger masculine energy at this time or this may be someone that has your attention. What are the challenges for Sagittarius at this time? What are the challenges at this time? I feel like it's a lot going on right now and it could be challenging at times to just keep going. You know, when you feel like you just need some time to yourself or you just don't feel like, uh, you know, being in the world or being in your day-to-day -day life, right? I feel like that's a challenge for a lot of you guys at this time. You may want to spend more time alone or you're just very protective over your energy. But I do see um, that you are definitely creating some financial stability in your life, whether you're saving, working extra hours, whatever the case may be. The unseen. So some of you guys, <clears throat> someone that I'm channeling for, could be very concerned about something that they don't know. Um, there could be a situation right now, even if it's a situation with the courts and you don't know what the results will be, right? I feel like there's a lot of heavy energy on your mind um, in regards to the results of something. Um, I don't like this energy that's coming your way, Sag. Um, I feel like I'm dealing with somebody who likes to kick you when you're down. I see the destroyer here. So someone is, whatever foundation you're building, somebody's not happy with that or they are jealous or they have some type of grudge so they want to sabotage some type of foundation that you may be building someone wants you to feel like you're in the woods but i say have faith um i say have faith and i see prayers here uh the prayer definitely make sure that you are speaking to your spirit team speaking to the most high or whomever it is that you pray to there is a light um, at the end of the tunnel here. So whatever it is that you're going through here in the dark, I see you heading towards calmer waters here. There's a shapeshifter in your energy. And this is what you may not see.
Spirit, tell me who the shapeshifter is in regards to my Sagittarius. Who is the shapeshifter in regards to my Sagittarius? Definitely, it could be a Libra, or maybe a Cancer or a Pisces. Somebody that's going through karma. Someone that may have tried to make you an option when it comes to love. Even though I feel like you have very deep emotions for this individual, I feel like they had a, a choice. Um, this person is coming towards you with this shapeshifter energy. What is this person's intentions? What do they want from my Sagittarius? They're wanting to cause problems. Yeah, angel number 1117. This person wants to cause some type of problems, conflict, arguing. Why do they want to argue and fight, Spirit? What is the purpose of arguing and fighting? Because you're moving forward? Because you're moving forward. So this could be you that have a that has a choice in love. Maybe with a cancer energy. You're moving towards also, uh, for some of you guys, you're moving towards your investments also. Um, you're investing a lot of time and energy into a skill, a craft, a job, something. Um, where you're able to manifest money. I see an apology coming in here. Um, so, hmm. So I feel like um, you could be dealing with someone in the past that may feel like there's competition right now. Or there's someone that has your attention. They could be trying to come in here and apologize. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are manifesting love. And also you have something going on with your money. Uh, definitely a financial increase here. So somebody's wanting to apologize. What are they wanting to apologize for? For being a player. And also being abusive for some of you guys. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. For hiding things. Could have something to do with the Cancer or a Pisces. For giving you illusions and deceiving you. For making you feel like they were going to invest something that they never did. Why is this person suddenly... Well, I see that they suddenly... Yeah, they apologizing because you got some type of love connection. A soulmate connection here. So you have a past person coming back to apologize as soon as you get a new connection here. Um, they're going to try to put you in a position to where you need to choose. How does Sagittarius feel about this? You feel like what's right is right and you're going to choose the option that you feel best suits you. That's the most fair for you. Could be a Libra. Because you feel like that person is a liar. And you feel like the karma that they're getting, they deserve. Wow, you guys are really, yeah, you feel like that. Period. Yeah, you super guarded. You're protecting your energy from this person. So if this person comes towards you with this arguing and fighting energy, you're not here to play. You don't even want their apology. You just cool. Yeah, you're just cool because they didn't make you happy. You'd rather be single than to deal with this person. Absolutely not. Yeah, you'd rather be single than to deal with whatever energy is coming back your way. Plus, you're manifesting new love. 
somebody who's actually going to truly invest in you. For some of you guys, even marry you. going on a journey something you're investing in right now is going to create a financial oh financial stability and you're manifesting a some of you guys are manifesting a libra born on october 13th this person is very wealthy and i feel like you're going to meet this person on your journey but something that you're investing in right now you don't see that this is going to create so much financial freedom and it's also going to allow you to go on this journey. Um, some of you guys may be getting new opportunities in new states. Um, also, some of you guys could want to be engineers or work at the train station. I definitely see that here. And yeah, you got a wealthy man uh, for a lot of you guys. You got a wealthy man coming in here. Could be an Aries or a Libra. And they're going to want to take you out and court you and date you and all of that and invest in you. Who is this wealthy man? Who is this wealthy man? Somebody that worked very hard to get to where they are right now. Um, this person could be 38 years old. What do they do for work? What does this wealthy man do for work? They could own some businesses, maybe even libraries. They may be a mentor or a, a spiritual leader. <clears throat> this person is very mature and very wealthy. Could be an Aries or Aries Taurus cusp. Maybe an Aries Taurus Gemini or Libra. What does this wealthy man see in my... Sagittarius, what does this wealthy man see in my Sagittarius? <clears throat> they want to be your main and only person. They see forever in you. Taurus energy. And it's like they want to change how hard you're working. <clears throat> Some of you guys work extremely hard and this person wants to change that. Um, they want to help you so yeah they want to help you and give you money and make it easier for you so that you don't have to work so hard Angels, what are the advice that you have for the Sagittarius? What is the advice that you have for Sagittarius? Stay courageous and stay brave. There's going to be some opportunities that come on this journey and it's going to be taking you out of your comfort zone. Um, be brave. Trust your intuition. Learn from your spiritual uh, experiences. I see a journey for you, but if you decide to um, not take a specific risk, uh, it could change the dynamics of this journey here. Okay, um, don't resist change. Challenge yourself to raise your vibrations. Um, challenge yourself to cancel and disconnect from things, people, places, ways of doing things, whatever the case may be. Challenge yourself um, so that you can experience what is truly yours on this journey. Okay. Take a step back um, from things that you want to hold on to too tightly. Uh, just go with the flow. Make sure that you're investing your power and your intentions into everything that you do. And always listen to your angels. 
angel number two twenty, um, angel number two zero zero zero. Make sure you guys are looking up your angel numbers. All right. So those are the messages that I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates for you, be sure to show some love, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.